Hey there everybody, I'm Sigurd Campos and today I bring you my Cy Young predictions for 2020. As you may know, the Cy Young Award is the main reason why I watch baseball. And of course, I'm a pitching fan, I love pitching, I love the Cy Young Award, I love it. So, my predictions for the 2020 Cy Young Award in the National League. Top three. I'm going to have Jacob de Grom, obviously, he has won the past two Cy Young Awards. He, uh, his projections, according to RotoChamp, are a 15 and 8 record with a 2.93 ERA, 206 innings pitch, which is a ridiculous amount, and a 1.05 whip. 105 whip appears to be uh, a bit high for me because he had a 0 97 whip last year. 15 and 8, I love the record, uh, and a 293 array looks too high. I mean, you're you're adding half a run to what he got last year. Um, I mean, <sighs> of course, um, the Grom has had incredible couple last seasons, and yeah, 170 ERA in 2018 and 243 in 2019. Winning the Cy Young Award in both years, but a 293 RA, that's basically the same as Scherzer last year who had 292, so yeah, that's kind of high. So now Max Scherzer will be my next candidate. Uh, he will, according to Road Champ, he will have a 14 and 8 record with a 309 RA. Again, I think it is too high. I don't think Max Scherzer, um, I think he's he's. His quality is decreasing because of age, but I still don't think we're going to see a 3 plus ERA from him. I mean, since he won the Cy Young Award in 2013, Max Scherzer has had one season with a 3 plus ERA. He had, I, I think, 315, was it, in 2014, uh, his final year with Detroit. And after that, he has only had three uh, under 3 ERAs. So I think 309 is a bit too high. Uh, 195 innings, that's a good number. And I think he could reach 200, but he's getting old. And a 102 whip. So uh, his whip would be three points lower than the Grums, but his ERA would be considerably higher than, than Jacob, 16 points higher which means Max Scherzer is an idiot um, because he allows home runs because he doesn't know how to sequence. And the guy couldn't sequence if his life depended on it. Uh, I mean, he's all talent. I mean, he's super talented, but dude, he's, he's, he's just very stupid. And at number three, I'm going to take who I think should have been a Cy Young finalist last year instead of Max Scherzer, Jack Flaherty. Jack Flaherty is coming off an incredible season in which he had a 2.75 ERA with the St. Louis Cardinals. His projections give him a 13-9 record with a 3.44 ERA in 191 innings and a 112 whip. Two things about this. The ERA is insulting. 3.44? I mean, if he has a 3.44 ERA, that means 2018 was a fluke. 2019 was a fluke. I don't think it was. I really don't think it was a fluke for Flaherty. I mean, he he's just really good. Nothing special from him. I, I want to make a mechanical analysis on him. But he's nothing special. Um, he just does everything right. Pretty much like the Grum. Uh, of course, he doesn't have the perfect body to be a pitcher like the Grum. Um, but a 112 whip, again, I don't think his whip is going to be above 110. I, I think it's going to be around 107, 106 maybe. Um, yeah, I, I think these numbers don't do Flaherty justice. So, let's go to the American League now. Um, the AL, the most boring of the two. Um, I mean, let's be honest, for a pitching fan, you'll take the NL any day of the week, twice on Sundays. My first pick, these are no particular order, but... It's a weird pick, okay? I'm gonna take Corey Kluber. I think he's really gonna bounce back in Texas. Um, I mean, his projections aren't great. 11 and 9, 398 ERA when, uh, in only 172 innings 
and a 121 whip, which is pretty high for a guy like Kluber. I mean, considering he's a two-time Cy Young winner. But, I mean, a 390 ERA, ah, that's too close to four. I, I think Kluber is going to have an ERA high threes at most. I mean, I, I think he's going to keep it in the in the high twos. Uh, maybe a two between 280 and 295, some somewhere around there. Because remember, he's pitching in Texas now. Texas um, has a pitcher-friendly ballpark, and Kluber is a sinker bowler. Sinker bowlers are known for not allowing long balls, and if you don't allow long balls because of your style, because of your approach. And you also have a pitcher-friendly ballpark. I think Kluber is going to fit really well in Texas. I, I think Texas is a very good team for Kluber. Okay, let's go to the next one. Another guy in a new team uh, we're going to go with, who many people think should have won the Cy Young Award in, in 2019. Damn it. Um, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole's projections give him a 16 and 8 record with a 306 ERA. Again, well, not really. I don't think that's too high because um, pitching in Houston is easier than pitching in Yankee Stadium. So, and that's one of the reasons why I think the Yankees pay too much for uh, for Garrett Cole. Uh, they're expecting the numbers that he would put up in Minute Maid Park. And he's going to pitch in Yankee Stadium, which is one of the most hitter-friendly ballparks in baseball. Uh, 209 innings pitched. So he's going to eat innings like Pac-Man eats ghosts. Um, yeah, that's a crazy number considering it's a shortened season. And a 104 whip. Very good whip. That's a really good whip. I mean, a whip under 105. You'll take that any day. I mean, the win-loss record, of course, 16-8. and eight. That's a lot of innings. First of all, 209 innings gives you more room to win or lose games. Um, but a, a 16 and 8 record. Yeah, I do believe that because the Yankees have some offense on them. I mean, the Yankees have a ridiculous lineup, and that can help Garrett Cole win some some good games. Um, and, of course, at number three, I'm going to take the two-time and reigning Cy Young winner in the national in the American League, uh, Houston Astros' Justin Verlander. Uh, excuse me, Houston Cheaters' Justin Verlander. Um, his projected numbers are 14 and 7, which for wins, it's pretty freaking low. I mean, 14 and 7 for Justin Verlander, I mean... I think, first of all, that's too many decisions. 21 decisions for Verlander in a shortened season. Eh. And the wins... I don't know. I think he's going to have very few losses and more wins. And a lot more wins. Some, somewhere around 18 wins, something like that. Um, and less losses. I mean, Verlander, despite the projection giving him a 326 ERA, which I don't believe at all... I really don't think Verlander's ERA is going to be above three. Um, but yeah, Verlander, I, I think he's going to to have a better record than, than 14-7. 182 innings pitched, which is a decent amount. Um, Cole beats him by a landslide. And a 1.00 whip. So once again, a better whip than Cole. So what does this tell you? Justin Verlander, despite Cole being a more powerful pitcher than Justin Verlander, um, Justin Verlander is going to suffer with a long ball. Uh, I don't know. I mean, those projections... Of course, the American League is hard to predict, man. I mean, because there's there's so many factors there. There are so many powerful guys. You have Joey Gallo, Aaron Judge. Um, but, yeah, I still don't buy them. So there you have it. Those are the projections. Those are my, my top three Cy Young picks in each league. And that's going to do it for today. I hope you like, comment, share the video, subscribe. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.